president of CCO and uh, Etobicoke Brampton Cricket League. Uh, welcome to the Misaga Cricket Festival. Thanks, uh, Farooq. Um, it's nice to be here. Um, this is a pretty good festival for the growth and promotion of the game. It's good to see that uh, people get together and organize such an event. Uh, crickets uh, in Canada, in Ontario, under lights, is not something that we see every day. Special thanks to each and every one of them who has uh, arranged this. And it's also thanks to the city of Mississauga for creating uh, beautiful facilities like this so that um, uh, leagues as uh, the, the teams that are from Derrick and all the other teams in an, an organization in Mississauga can afford to play on facilities like this. So we must thank the city of Mississauga for reacting to the growth and demand of the sports and for providing ICC standard level crickets in the city. This is not something that's easily achieved because as I can tell you as a president for BDCL for 29 years and counting we have been going to the city and requesting grounds and the city of Brampton has come forward and stepped up with 17 grounds but infrastructure and development needs to improve uh, within that city and, and it's good to see that city Mississauga is responding with the type of quality of wickets that are needed for cricketers to develop in Canada. Without these types of facilities our cricketers, whether they be at local or national, are handicapped when they reach the, the players from the other country. So them being able to play their league games and their uh, events like this on this type of facility gives them that extra advantage of practices and experience and exposure to turf wickets and outfields of the nature that, that's here. So kudos to the city of Mississauga. But lighting is an extremely expensive proposition, so the guys have tried to do their best in the second year coming. This takes a lot of money. Hopefully what we're doing is asking the cities, a lot of lights are being installed on soccer grounds, baseball grounds, and a lot of them are left there empty during the night. I think it's time that the cities look at the fastest growing sport in Canada right now is cricket. The fastest growing sport in Ontario is great to see a city responding. I hope that the city will look at the success of this event and make available on the facilities that they're bringing forward of this class um, lights just like they are on the baseball diamonds and the soccer diamonds so that cricket could be elevated to, the, to another level, to a level that will make it possible to bring the sport to more people who are interested in playing cricket because night cricket if we were to get facilities will literally explode and almost uh, double our participation in cricket within the respective leagues as everyone has the time and would like to come out in the evening to play cricket. So uh, kudos to Derek and his group and to David Jacobs and the other administrators, administrative uh, staff and volunteers and assistants for putting on such an event and such a spectacle for the second year going and I hope I wish them all the luck to continue further and I hope that the city of Mississauga continues to respond to them and provide more facilities like this and finally maybe we can get lights on these facilities so when staging these events it's not as expensive to put on for the guys who wants to organize these events and even for the leagues to play uh, night T20 cricket. Thank you very much Farouk and <laughs> I, I, I was amiss on one thing we need more exposures for cricket. We need more coverage, more live coverage of local cricket events like this. Um, seeing that the mainstream coverage doesn't cover cricket to that extent, it's good to see Farouk and uh, Sports Friends coming out and making a dedicated effort to bring cricket coverage to us as more exposure for the sport Media coverage is especially an important part of it, so everybody gets to know where the games are, the quality of cricketers being played, who are the best cricketers, and who are the best teams, and where they could be found, and where they So thanks to Sport Trend for doing these coverages and for making them available to the public.